hey, I want to do some subtraction with fractions when one of the numbers is a whole number. So I have 3 minus 4 fifths. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. Um, one way is you can go ahead and put um, 3 over 1 and make it a fraction. And then remember that I need to um, have a common denominator in order to subtract. They need to be cut in the same size pieces. So it would be really easy to keep the denominator of 5. And so what do I do to 1 to get 5? I multiply times 5. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 fifths minus 4 fifths is 11 fifths. And of course, that's an improper fraction because the top number is larger than the bottom number. So I need to go ahead and simplify. And I look at it and I say, well, how many fives could I take out of that 11? I could take two sets of five out of there, and I would have one left over. So my answer is two and a fifth. The other way to do this problem is instead of making the three a fraction, I'm going to borrow from the 3, make it a 2, and then I'm going to have a fraction of 5 fifths, which is my other 1. And then I'm going to go ahead and subtract 4 fifths from that. Okay, so then I would have 2, and 5 minus 4 is 1 fifth. So my answer would be 2 and 1 fifth. Um, really, the only difference between these two is that you can need to realize that for this one, you can borrow one from the three, make it a two, and then you can take that one and write it as any kind of fraction that you want, as long as the top number is the same as the bottom number. So I could have written it to be six six or eight eights, whatever I needed, and in this case I needed fifths, so I went ahead and wrote it into fifths because that worked easy for me. Either way, you get the same answer. It's just whichever way makes more sense to you.